You at six, have you ever seen an item advertised at an incredible price only to find it's out of stock? Or maybe you didn't use that gift card in time and discovered it expired? KITV4's Dick Allgaier joins us with some rights you should know about as a shopper. Dick. Because this is the season for shopping, Black Friday coming up at the end of this week. Later this week, folks will literally be camping out to be the first in line for the great deals. The doors will open and people will be in a shopping frenzy. Black Friday, traditionally, there are great deals to be had. But consumers really have to pay careful attention to the advertisement. The director of the Office of Consumer Protection yeah, says be aware of special, incredible prices. Sometimes only a limited quantity will be available and that's only admitted in the fine print. There are laws against bait and switch. I mean, you can't entice someone to go to a store with the intention to switch them over to something else. I mean, if you're going to be advertising something, fine. But disclose the fact if you're going to have limited quantities. Gift cards are very popular. Some retailers love them because many of them seem to go unused. I had received a gift card. It was a shop at Pearl Ridge that paint, you go in and you pick the clay and you paint it. And my friend bought it for me. And it took me a few months to get down to Pearl Ridge. And when I got there, I couldn't find it. And when I asked, they said that shop closed. And so it was so unfortunate because my friend spent a lot of money on that was my Christmas gift. And there was nowhere to go with it. Hawaii law now requires that merchants honor gift cards for at least five years. And the law also prohibits what's called dormancy fees. If you didn't use a gift card, they had these obnoxious inactivity fees or dormancy fees in which some cards would take $2.50 a month off of the value of the gift card for the mere fact that you haven't been using them. Those actually have been, pro that kind of practice has been prohibited in Hawaii. And Stephen Levin says we actually don't have too many consumer problems in Hawaii. He says especially in this economy, retailers and merchants want to do everything they can to keep customers happy. Paula.